All right, our first question is from Jay Emke. What's your advice for someone who mentally struggles with taking rest days? Oh, yeah, this is a this is a good mm. one because... Now, this is the kind of person that really obsesses over exercise. They're afraid if they miss a workout, they're going to get fat, they're going to lose their progress, they're going to lose muscle, or exercise for them is an escape and they need to work out because otherwise they feel sad or depressed or too stressed out. So I can relate to this. I was for a long time extremely, I'd say, addicted to exercise in some of those senses. It wasn't so much of an escape to me as it was more of I'm afraid I'm going to lose my gains. I'm afraid my body's not going to respond well. So two things, there's a couple points I want to make with that. One, rest days, if they're done properly, actually contribute to better fat loss and better muscle gain. The, the Giving your body the ability to rest, not overtraining, accelerates and amplifies results. So if you're afraid of the loss of gains or the loss of progress and you're just working out every day, every day, every day, the opposite is, is likely true. Um, the second part, this one's a little harder. Um, just telling someone to not work out and because it makes them feel good and then what do they replace it with? Here's my advice to those people. You can still work out. Just modify, modify the intensity. Yeah, I actually. So I like, I like if you're going to the gym every day. If you if you have that as a routine, um, and I, I find still to this day, like I have much better success when I've just decided that hey, an hour a day is dedicated to fitness for me. It's like, and you have a set certain time that you do it at, and if I do it every single day, every day. Um, I, I tend to get much better results than if I say, oh, I'm, I'm going to train intensely three days a week and that's it. Um, I actually I tend to put it off like, oh, I just need to get another day lifting. Mm. I, I can't do it today. I'll do it tomorrow or whatever. So I actually love the idea of every day doing something. It's just, mm -hmm. You learn to scale it and change it. So Yeah, you can't go hard every day. Yeah, right? no, no, you definitely don't go hard every day. But you go to the gym every day. And sometimes the, the gym workout that day is like, all mobility and list cardio. You know that's all you're doing. You're doing cardio. You're doing uh, mobility work and or stretching or meditation. Trigger or, sessions or sauna focus. or trigger sessions yeah. or you know or mobility sessions like or focus days like so. You know I like to have you know three to five depending on where I am in my volume of training like kind of intenser days and then two to you know four days depending on where I'm at like of these like free days. Maybe I swim one day. You know so. I like the idea if someone struggles with taking days off, don't take a day off. Just yeah. change the the intensity of what you you're doing. You don't have to take a day and, and again, this reflects a lot of the most successful programs out there. Like even if it's, uh, you know, any Olympic lifting, you know, program or like some serious programs, they still, they, they train consistently almost on a daily basis, but it's, it's a matter of fluctuating the intensity and the volume. And, and so it, you know, like I know even when, um, you know, some of the strength conditioning coaches call it microdosing. So it's like a matter of like managing the dose of stress, uh, continuously, uh, to where, you know, some days you, you, you press it, but even, and then the follow-up day, you're just like reducing a lot of that stress that, that you're introducing to yourself, but you're still moving, you're still active. Uh, there's a lot of ways to express your body where it's not as damaging. And so that that's just has to be top of mind. I like, I, you know, I like that because if you're mentally struggling with taking rest days, to, you know, one of the best strategies is, is kind of a step ladder approach. It's pro, it's a lot easier to, rather than having a rest day, if you're mentally struggling struggling with it, to rather than doing that, still going to the gym, but just doing something different. And then the next step from there, if appropriate, would be to have a rest day. Just going from seven days a week to taking rest days might be too much. And what you end up finding with situations like that is people replace it with something that's maybe not as healthy. Um, so, you know, if, for example, if I'm working with someone with nutrition, I like to replace behaviors with other behaviors rather than just cutting behaviors out. So, if you're just like, oh my gosh, I can't even comprehend taking a day off. Okay, you don't have to necessarily. Still go to the gym. Go a lot easier. Go a lot lighter. Um, maybe try doing something that you don't normally do. Yoga is a great example of that. You know, if you're somebody who likes to work out, work out hard all the time, why not go to the gym and not do, don't do a power yoga class? That's cheating. Do like a Yin Yoga, a relaxing mobility workout, sauna, steam. Uh, see how that works. Then once you're consistent with that, you might find that then the next step might be not going to the gym, but maybe going on a walk or a hike or staying at home 
and doing stretching and that kind of stuff. But definitely, 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 if you overapply intensity and combine it with a lot of frequency, in other words, work out hard too often, you're going to progress slower. You may even halt your progress and in some cases, reverse your progress.